All right, welcome back. Another pizza review, frozen pizza review time. Um, today is a day of firsts. Um, first of all, this is the first time I've ever had this pizza. Um, Mama Celeste, pizza for one. Another first. Um, first time I've ever bought grilled true food from the dollar store. So this is uh, compliments of the Dollar Tree. And as you may have guessed, it cost $1. Really, honestly, unbelievable because I've seen this at other stores for several dollars. Um, and I just couldn't pass up the deal. Dollar Tree is really underappreciated, I think. It's a, you can get things like that you wouldn't expect to be a dollar and things that cost significantly more at another store. Uh, Reynolds wrap, aluminum foil, a dollar for uh, 18 square feet, I believe. Something equivalent at Woodman's for their brand costs, I believe, $2.19. For Reynolds brand, you're talking close to $3. Awesome. Awesome place to pick up grill pans, awesome place to pick up batteries, toothpaste, um, sunflower seeds, candy, Sour Patch Kids, a dollar. All the time, bags, boxes, movie theater boxes, whatever you need, gum, uh, Big League Chew, big place to pick up Big League Chew. So um, I'm really, I've always liked Dollar Tree, but... Uh, even more so since I started getting the grill pans and everything, and then I saw Mama Celeste pizza, so of course I couldn't pass it up. Another thing, another first after I did my Dollar Tree rant, just one more thing to say about Dollar Tree. Um, underappreciated. Dollar Tree is kind of like the Eric Sogard, if you will, of uh, convenience stores. Can do anything you want, it's not gonna blow you away. Gonna get a slapstick uh, single up the middle off of um, Woody last night to break up this no-hitter in the third inning of the Blue and Gold World Series. And he might buy you a sushi dinner sometime, too. Anyways, back to the pizza. Mama Celeste. Uh, the other first is the way that Mama Celeste tells you to bake this pizza. So convention, conventional oven directions. Place baking sheet on center oven rack, preheat oven to 400. So you're actually preheating the baking sheet. Frozen, place frozen pizza on preheated, in all caps, it's yelling at me, preheated baking sheet. Bake 16 to 18 minutes or until center cheese is melted and edges are golden brown. How can you go wrong for a dollar? Like, even if this is an awful pizza, you could grab a Mama Celeste pizza, a thing of Sour Patch Kids, maybe a Gatorade or a Pop, Pepsi Coke. Uh, they got Arizona iced teas there. Um, they have good ice cream like sandwiches, stuff like that. You could have yourself a nice bachelor type meal for three four dollars if you really want to splurge so how can you go wrong again um probably not the most healthy things in the world but they got canned vegetables they got um I'm trying to think what else they would have frozen vegetables they have dollar sirloin sometimes in the frozen freezer section never had it um so even though this is going to be a controversial review i'm going to give it my all um a lot of people, mm, eating from the dollar store. No, I am, yes. I am eating from the dollar store, but this is the same pizza that you can find anywhere else. So that it's from the dollar store doesn't mean it's filled with Corona all of a sudden and I'm gonna die because I eat a dollar store pizza. Settle, settle down, people, okay. It likely has cooled quite a bit since I love the undercarriage of this pizza. Like it looks like a high quality crust. Nice crisp when I was cutting through it with Willy 2.0, still unnamed. 
um, need some suggestions for that still. So this is a Suprema. Um, pizza with sausage, mushrooms, pepperoni, green and red, peppers, and onions. Uh, sausage made with pork, chicken, bad use of uh, punctuation again. I need to work for these companies and um, give them an English lesson. So it is a single serve pizza, um, but I mean, look at that. Just look at that beautiful Italian woman on that box, Mama Celeste. Like I said, cult following on the internet for this kind of pizza. I've never had it though, so another first. One bite, everyone knows the rules. Hmm. Cooled down quite a bit, very quickly. Although I was talking frantic for quite a while. So, crust is very crispy around the outside, on the bottom, but there's a good amount of crust, and the layer directly below the soft is quite mushy. Kind of gives you an odd texture, not a pleasant texture. It's like almost undercooked, but the rest of the pizza looked, looked great. Like the crispy part of the crust, great. Um, the rest of it, mm. sauce. Non-existent. Flavor-wise. Toppings, pretty standard. Um, it's not bad. Something that I would want to douse some uh, Tabasco on, maybe. I think it would taste a lot better. Um, but for taking into account the value, the what is it equivalent to? I'm not comparing it to the top tier frozen pizzas. This is a snack. It's a small lunch. Um, you can throw it in the microwave. I didn't go that route because I just thought it would be not good. I'm going to go 5.1. I can't give it a failing grade because of what it is. It's a dollar pizza for one. It's better than most gas station pizzas. I would say that like a slice of quick trip pizza for whatever it is, $1.69, two for three on certain days is better. But if you just need something quick, you throw 10 of these in your freezer just for late night snacks, you know, eat an early dinner, want something before you go to bed. This is perfect. It's better than like a pizza roll. It's better than a bagel bite. It's very, it's actually very equivalent to a bagel bite. I like bagel bites for what they are. Mama Celeste is good for what it is. 5.1. That's your review. See you next time.